This video was brought to you by Patreon. Help support future ES repair videos by becoming a patron for as little as $1 per month. As a premium member, you'll get the latest news, special offers, questions and answers, recognition and videos, early access to new videos, channel recognition, behind the scenes, and more. Show your support by joining ES Repair on Patreon today. Hello, I am your Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Many people nowadays store gigabytes and gigabytes of data on their PC like documents, games, music, videos, pictures, emails, and so on. If your computer's hard drive crashed right now, would you be able to restore your data on the new hard drive? If your computer gets a virus and damages your files, could you restore your files after removing the virus? What if your Windows or Mac OS crashed and had to be reinstalled? Can you restore your files and programs? Only 1% of you watching this video can answer yes. If you answer no, why did you not back up your files? Data can be lost by a number of reasons, including user error. The utility has been around for decades. As, at first, people didn't want to deal with backing up the PC because it was time consuming and inexpensive to buy many disks to back up all their data. Back then, it was a chore to back up data. But with today's technology, backing up your PC is less cumbersome and more straightforward. You're basically making a second copy of your files, also known as archiving. If something was to happen to, your, to the files, then rest assured the second copy would save the day. Now, data recovery is an option if you have deep pockets. It can cost $250 to over $1,000 depending on the severity of the data loss, and there is no guarantee all the data can be recovered. It costs less to buy what you need to back up and restore your data. In this video, I will help you understand the different types of backups and how they are used. At the end of this video are links to other videos to help you get your backup started. There are two ways that you can back up your files. The manual backup is simply copying and pasting the files to the backup drive. And it can be very time consuming when you have a lot of files to back up. On the other hand, using a backup program can automate the process so you can do other tasks. There are five types of backups that can be used to archive your data. The personal backup is pretty much what the name implies. The process will only back up the files created by the user. This includes pictures, videos, documents, emails, music, downloads, and so forth. However, this process does not back up the operating system or your programs. A system backup will back up the primary or system partition, which contains the operating system, including the user's programs and data, but if the hard drive contains more than one partition, only the partition containing the operating system will be backed up. The disk backup will back up every file and partition on the hard drive. The image backup is similar to the disk backup, except an image backup stores the hard drive's raw data at the lowest level of ones and zeros, instead of as separate files. Next, there are three methods to back up the PC. A full backup is the initial backup. When you create your first backup of the PC, a full backup is performed by copying all the selected files to the backup drive. It is also used whenever there is a major change to the system, like an update to the operating system. For example, the recent Windows 10 feature and Mac OS Mojave updates are a good example of doing a good a full backup before installing the update. If the update crashes the operating system, you would be able to restore your PC to its original state before the update. A full backup is a long process, but worth it. Since most files do not change frequently, a differential backup backs up the files that has changed since the last full backup. 
Differential backups are quicker than full backups because less data is being backed up. But the amount of data being backed up grows with each differential backup until the next full backup. Although this method is more flexible, it is not recommended to use differential backup more than once a day. The third method is an incremental backup. This method backs up the files as that has changed since the last backup, whether it was a full backup or an incremental backup. It's much quicker as less data is backed up between intervals, allowing you to back up your files as much as every hour. This method also allows you to choose various versions of a file that you are trying to restore. Although incremental backups have much greater flexibility, they have the reputation for taking longer to, back, to restore because the backup has to be reconstructed from the full, last full backup and to include all the incremental backups since. Your backup can be stored on a wide range of storage mediums. Flash memory cards, USB jump drives, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, net, uh, network attached storage drives, external hard drives, and so forth. If you just want to back up your documents, your pictures, emails, and so forth, flash memory or USB jump drive would be just fine. Their capacity goes for as high as 256 gigabytes or more, but the higher the capacity, the more they will cost. If you want to back up the entire PC, then using a USB hard drive or a network attached storage drive would be the best choice. Their capacity can go up to 10 terabytes or more and cost less than per gigabyte than solid state or flash drives. Now let's talk about strategizing your backups. For most people, a backup one to two times a week would suffice. However, if you use a PC for business or you use a PC on a daily basis, you'll want to back the PC up at least once a day. As time goes on and you have created a few backups, you will need to decide how long you want to keep the old backups. Most backup programs let you decide how long to keep the old backups. You could choose 30 days, up to when space is needed, at which point the oldest backup is deleted. Many backup programs can run the task automatically by setting it to a specific time of day, day of the week, or as data changes. Keep in mind the PC must be on and the backup drive connected to the PC for the backup task to work. An example of a typical backup scheme looks something like this. On Sunday, I would create the full backup. On Monday through Saturday, I would incremental use incremental backup. And I would have it mine set up to back up my files daily at 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm not using the computer. And I also have it set to keep them as long as 30 days. Now this will ensure the backups are up to date and does not take a lot of time to back up or restore the data. The oldest backup will be deleted after 30 days. The first backup you do needs to be a full backup. Then the sequential backups can either be differential or incremental. For every six sequential backup, the next backup should be a full backup. Then you repeat the cycle. You can keep the backups for as long as you want, as long as you have the space to store all the, the backups. If you suspect a virus on the PC, never back up a PC that has a virus. Remove the virus then you can safely back up the PC. Never back up the PC to the same drive that contains the operating system. Always back up to an external drive. I also recommend keeping two separate backup drives and, and alternate between them with each backup. This way, if something was to happen during the backup process, such as a drive failure or the operating system crash, it could damage the backups on the drive and your data would be lost. But you can still recover from the alternate backup. You may lose some data having to recover from the alternate backup, 
but it's better than losing all your data. Well, this concludes this video. I've explained the different types of backups and how they are used. These links will help you set up your backup on the PC. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.